Tom Hanks explains how Clint Eastwood treats his actors like horses. As perhaps one of the last true red-blooded American filmmakers, Clint Eastwood is as permanently etched onto the cinematic landscape as the faces of the founding fathers are on Mount Rushmore. He's also a man of several hats, having emerged as a solid Western actor in the 1960s show Rawhide, forging an unforgettable partnership with director Sergio Leone on the Dollars trilogy and transitioning into a fully-fledged directing behemoth. In the 1970s, Eastwood made his directorial debut with Play Misty for Me, and from then on, he's made over 40 features, with his final picture, Juror No. 2, due out next year. His filmography behind the camera saw him walk the well-trodden path of the Western with undisputed classics like The High Plains Drifter and Unforgiven. But Eastwood's proved himself equally talented at handling the war movie, the neo-noir crime thriller, and even a musical comedy with one of his own personal favorites, 1980s Bronco Billy. His directorial, Sully, the tale of American pilot Chelsea Sully Sullenberger, with Tom Hanks, who played the titular American hero, having experienced his first collaboration with Eastwood as director and revealed the industry legend's particular style of filmmaking. Speaking on an episode of The Graham Norton Show, Hanks revealed how Eastwood treats his actors like horses. However, the reason isn't quite as unflattering or derogatory as it may first sound. Having entered the industry with Rawhide, a stable western show following cattle ranchers, which naturally featured a lot of horses, it seems that Eastwood picked up a few tricks. Hanks explained how, whilst filming the show, Eastwood noticed that the director would shout action and all the horses bolted. Years later, now sitting in the director's seat and eager to assert more control over his production, Eastwood decided to do things differently. So what precise directing methodology does the man put into practice? According to Hanks, when he's in charge, he says in a really quiet, soft voice, all right, go ahead. And instead of shouting cut, he says, that's enough of that. It's not the first insider glimpse into Eastwood's distinct and distinctive way of making movies. Another element of his direction, which has become widely documented, is his commitment to filming every scene in one single take. A far cry from the likes of Stanley Kubrick, who instead could demand up to 100 takes for an action as simple as picking up a phone, as reported by Tom Cruise on the set of 1999's Eyes Wide Shut. While Eastwood's style may seem unconventional and particularly jarring for actors used to other environments on set, it's nevertheless yielded some of the best movies of this century and the last. That's putting it as an audience member. As for the actors, Hank's words put it fairly succinctly. It's intimidating as hell.